Hi everyone. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about halves or one out of four or one fourth. We've been talking about one halves and one fourths. Now I want to help you understand it a little better. So that's going to take um, going into your own kitchen and looking at some tools. And those tools I'm talking about are your measuring cups. I brought mine here so I can talk to you about it first of all. And it's really hard to read this, I think, but you can kind of see that this says one, actually if I get close you can see, it says one cup on the handle. Do you see how it says one cup? It's over here by the ring. It says one cup. So this is a cup. That's a, This is a standard measure of one cup. It's not like a cup that you take out of the cabinet. Oh, here's my cup. You know, it's not like that. It's, um, this is a measurement called one cup. This is a whole cup. One cup. Okay. This, sucks. this smaller one here, and you can, let me try to get it so you can really kind of, they look kind of the same size the way I'm holding it. There we go. Now you can see they're both the same distance away from the camera. This one is one cup. This one says on it, one half cup, or one out of two cups. One out of two, one half. That means two of these are the same as one of these. So if I filled this one up with the water and put it in here, and then I did it again, it would fill it. So, I have my water. This is my whole cup. And I'm saying this two of these because one out of two of these is a half. This is one out of two to get us to a full cup. So, one. You're not going to be able to see this, but you can do this yourself at your sink at home. I don't want to spill. I'm in my office. Okay. Oh yeah. That's, that's about half full because one of these fills it halfway. Two of these, two of two will fill it up. That's how it works. So two of two, this is my second one. And my measuring cup should be full. And it should be exact because these are made for cooking. And it is exactly to the top. Oh, you can kind of see it, can't you? And that was two of these because this says one half or one out of two to get us to a full cup. Two out of two fills it up. And be really careful and put this aside. Let's look at our next measurement. This is another one of my measuring cups from my cabinet upstairs. And this one says one third, one out of three. That means this one's a little bit, this is my one half. This is my one third. It would take of the one out of three, oh, sit down, <laughs> this is better. Oh, one out of three. It would take three of these to fill my cup. My cup's really full, I'm gonna leave it to the side. It would take three of these. One fourth. One, two, three, four. Four of these to make a cup. So I want you um, to ask your parents if they have measuring cups or measuring spoons at home. Hopefully you have a set somewhat like mine, which has them nestled in like this. So you can really experiment around with it. This might be something um, that you can do with a family member, or maybe they'll just let you use them to try to work on your measurements and read what they say. Usually um, on the handle, just like mine, that's where you're going to get all your information that you need to know. And you can see that this is, it takes four of these to make one cup. So what, what am I asking you to do today? Boy, I'm asking you to have some fun. I'm asking you to get out measuring cups and check and see. And you can do, also do this with measuring spoons. 
Um, so if you don't have measuring cups or they're glass and your parents don't want you to use them, um, say, well, maybe we can do it with measuring spoons and it would be the same thing, okay? One teaspoon and then there's a half a teaspoon, a third of a teaspoon and a quarter of a teaspoon. So you can do the same thing. It's just much smaller tools for measuring. So I want you to try this. Um, ask before you go taking any supplies out of your kitchen. You know that. Um, and just say, oh, I need measuring cups for what I need to do today. Can I please borrow them? And I will only be using water for measuring, right? Okay. Have fun.